Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of my FX Racer Career Mode and today we are here for round number 3 at the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix and if you guys missed the previous race at the Austrian Grand Prix then be sure to go and check that one out. That was an interesting Grand Prix actually in which I struggled to be honest. Um, yeah, my best lap I thought I'd found an asterisk where the lap times were glitched and I should have started P6 Although someone helpfully pointed out in the comments that I was looking at the wrong lap times for the AI um, Never mind so today we are going to be racing around the Yas Marina circuit as I mentioned and Abu Dhabi is a circuit that I struggled to get used to I will say because it's quite a lot different from real life as we're now going to see my first time qualifying lap you will see what I mean. The first part of the lap is pretty much the same as you come over the hill and down through the hairpin and then you get this long back straight which is a DRS zone topping up towards 330 kilometers per hour. The chicane is almost flat and this is the part of the track that is different. You have none of this and again you can see I went wide there onto the grass around this corner. It was really hard to get used to. I guess that's supposed to be the hotel section and again another wide moment there. So it's a really tough track to get used to and as I cross the line I stayed in P20, so that's really not good, so I need to try and find an improvement, as don't forget, my tyres are rapidly going off, you can see in the top right hand corner the tyre wear indicator that my super soft tyres are sort of probably over a third worn already, so I really need to try and make sure that I find some sort of improvement on this lap, although that doesn't help, you notice me Again, turning a little bit short of the corner there, starting to get used to it as we get further into the weekend. Well, as we come up to the line, is it going to be an improvement? No, we improve the lap time, but it's only good enough for P20. And I'm nearly two seconds off the pace. So Gabo's taken pole position with KA Falcon 11 in P2 and Bulls Gaming in P3. So... I don't know what to say, this doesn't bode well for the rest of the weekend, I just struggled for pace at this circuit. I'm going to start on the mediums and try and go for a one stop today, that was something I noted in the last race weekend that might help, as we are now underway for round three in the FX Racer career mode, and that's been a really good start, look at the AI all getting a little bit kind of jittery I guess you could say on the inside, there's so much space here on the outside line, I'm going to go clean all the way around everybody. And now I'm up into P12, so I've gained 8 positions just like that. So now I want to see if I can try and progress even further up into the points. That is going to be a tough ask to stay there though, don't forget. Some of these guys will be on softer compound tyres. They're actually looking at it, Phoenix and IgG are on the same tyre compound as me. So maybe if I could try and stick with these guys, it would be a good indicator of our pace this weekend. And hopefully they can drag me around. As we're just heading down the back straight, it has been a pretty good start, thankfully. We have obviously gained lots of positions as now I just need to try and see if I can maybe make a couple more overtakes and get myself into the points and then see how long I can stay there for. As we now cut to the start of lap number three because absolutely nothing has happened. To be honest, I've just been dropped by the guys who are in front of me. Qualifying was legit. I am really, really struggling for pace around this circuit this weekend. The tyres are nearly 50% worn and I'm being put under tons of pressure from behind. I can't remember exactly who that is but they've got DRS and I'm sure they'll be sizing me up for a move as soon as possible although I keep checking behind me just to make sure to see I think we're going to be okay into this straight so going through the chicane if you can nail the line through there then I've noticed that I can really pull out a gap on the AI drivers behind me although as we move on to lap number four the tyres are now approaching 75% on the tyre wear and I don't think there's going to be any stopping a move happening here as we go into the chicane no I managed to pull out a bit of a lead there though get very very squirrely on the exit and again it looks like I'm able to survive actually so now at the end of the lap notice some of the leaders coming into the pits Gabo, Leo F1 all in the pits as was KA Falcon 11 I spotted so I'm going to follow suit and ditch these medium tyres because I cannot stay on them any longer and I'm now going to jump onto a set of hard compound tyres by the way, I realised after this race that you can tweak setup, so I wonder if maybe for the next race I'll have a look at seeing if I can get a setup to make sure that it that you know each time I set my car up it's appropriate for the circuit that we're racing at. Although this is gonna be an easy move for this white car. It's a shame I can't see who it is as we go into the chicane. No, I've messed that up completely. I've gone really deep 
And I think it's Rarys Hachura. Again, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, but I think they're going to go up the inside now. Yes, they are. So I'm just going to try and follow Hachura for as long as I can. They're on the medium tyre. I'm on the hard with my plan to be a one-stop to try and get me to the end of the race. There are some guys now in the pit lane rejoining from the pit lane as we are starting lap number six. And that has elevated me up into P15. So... There's still a long way to go in this race. I still need to try and see if I can get some moves done. But ultimately, my pace is just poor this weekend. Again, I don't know why there's another driver in the pit. So I'm looking to P14 as we're moving on. I just seem to really struggle to get used to this track. Or the AI were just a lot better than me. However, notice KA Falcon and Gabo are both coming in for their second pit stop. We're now at the end of lap number 8. So if the AI are two stopping... Then that gives me a chance to get some points. All of a sudden, we could be thrown back into the equation here. Kaylin coming in for a second stop as well. It looks like a lot of the AI are diving in. They can't make it. Julian69 is in as well. So there's a couple of guys who have jumped. Oh, that was close with Kaylin there. I am going to slide my car up the inside. Although on 75% worn hard tyres with two laps to go, the blue and orange car is on fresh super soft tyres. So a move should be inevitable, especially when I make errors like that lock up and run wide at the hairpin spitfire. Although looking at the drivers on the left hand side, it's TX19 who's in the lead of the race. And in P2 is Draco Diggory and KA Falcon is in third, followed by Bulls Gaming and Gabo. So so it is a really, really close race to the end. I don't know what's happened here. I think there's been some sort of collision because some of the drivers are going really slowly. Kalen's made a move on Leo F1. There's more drivers in the pits. I'm going to try and follow suit on the inside of turn one. But we've made contact. Leo sent spinning and I think that might be the third race in a row where we've actually collided. This time on the final lap. Let's have a look at a replay. So I turn in. Does Leo... Oh, I think that's probably a racing incident. I think that was unavoidable there. Now moving on to the end of the final lap. My tyres are on low grip mode. I've got absolutely nothing left. Although I'm in P6. I need to try and hold on to these points. This is massive for my championship. In a race that's been such a poor weekend for me. Like this one where I've had no pace. If I could hold on for P6... That would be absolutely huge. That would equal my best race of the season. As no, there's been some contact there. There was some AI, I think, trying to go for the move. I genuinely didn't see them. I was just trying to stick to my normal line, try not to run wide. Although it looks like they're going to eat me alive anyway. If you go up to the line, Gonzo overtakes me on hard tyres. KA Falcon has won back-to-back -back races, but I hold on for a P7. And you know what? I'm really pleased with that, given the state of the tyres. I could not have gone another lap. There's the final results from the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. KA Falcon is now your runaway championship leader. 22 points clear ahead of Gons. Two race wins in a row and has not finished outside the podium yet this season. Bulls Gaming is P2, second consecutive podium. And Gabo finally reaches the rostrum for the first time this season. Then a good race from Sparks. He ends up P4 and Kalin rounds out the top five. We obviously lost the place to Gons there on the final lap. And that's it for this video. The next race will be at the Italian Grand Prix. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to like, share and subscribe. That should be an interesting race. Obviously, four drivers still yet to score points. Phoenix, Hayden, ORT and Azante. We'll see if they can score next time. Goodbye.